In this video we want to explain what Mint Layer is. Mint Layer is a sidechain to the Bitcoin blockchain. A sidechain essentially helps a pre-existing blockchain, in this case Bitcoin, to scale and to become more interoperable. Mint Layer relies on the Bitcoin blockchain for time calculation and randomization. The goals of Mint Layer are scalability, which means low transaction fees and a high number of transactions per second. The block generation frequency is dynamically adapted depending on the number of transactions in the network and spans between 1 and 2 minutes. Relatively small nodes shall be able to execute the Mint Layer core software, which allows normal users to participate in the network, not only large servers. This fosters decentralization and the inclusion of regular users in the blockchain's governing decisions and block generation. Short sync time with the network for new nodes through pruning and unspent transaction output optimizations. High security that fulfills the requirements of future decentralized finance applications through a checkpoint system on the Bitcoin blockchain. Token inclusivity allows users to pay for transaction fees with any token that is compatible with MintLayer, removing the need to hold a particular token for gas payments known from other blockchains like Ethereum. Mint Layer consists of the following building blocks. First and foremost, there is the Mint Layer core software. It is executed on all the nodes in the network with the dynamic slot allotment consensus protocol that produces the blockchain. Every Mint Layer block references a Bitcoin block. On Mint Layer, 5 to 10 blocks are generated for one Bitcoin block. 1008 Bitcoin blocks define one Mint Layer round. For a Mint Layer round, Nodes are selected as participants, which can create and sign blocks. The probability of being selected as a participant depends on the amount of mint layer tokens put at stake by the corresponding node. A mint layer light wallet and a full node wallet. The light wallet is meant for mobile devices and can be used to send and receive Bitcoin and the MLT mint layer token, as well as for DEX, decentralized exchange, trading and transaction batching. Through the communication system between the wallets, users will be able to ask peer users to aggregate payments into a single transaction. This will lead to a reduction of the mint layer load, the number of transactions that have to be processed, lower fees and a higher security, as the technical hurdles for blockchain analysis are raised. The full node wallet offers all the functionality from the light wallet plus additional token functionality. A tokenization standard, MLS01, it represents the basic standard specification for tokens on Mint Layer, describing a set of rules that have to be implemented by a token to be correctly processed by a Mint Layer wallet. One focus point is the creation of reliable cross-chain atomic swaps for the transfer of tokens on Bitcoin and Mint Layer respectively. Central entities will be able to issue wrapped tokens on Mint Layer for the transfer of ETH or Bitcoin to Mint Layer, making Mint Layer a second layer chain for the corresponding main chain. Script-based smart contracts can be used to specify particular conditions for locking and unlocking funds and for advanced decentralized finance applications. The language is an extension of Bitcoin script that remains Turing incomplete. This leads to efficient, less error-prone and safer code. Similar to Bitcoin, two simple scripts build a foundation on which complex contracts can be created. Multi-signature account, which generally requires several signatures to unlock an unspent output. And time lock, which allows to unlock an unspent output after a certain time or after a certain event has occurred. In addition, for the transfer of securities, like shares and bonds, Mint Layer offers additional features to enable dividend and tax payments and a limitation of the transferability of a token. Another component of Mint Layer is the decentralized exchange. It allows different types of transfers depending on the user's needs in terms of decentralization and privacy. Atomic swaps do not rely on any particular communication system and atomic swap transactions cannot be distinguished from any other blockchain transaction. Multiple atomic swaps split a single order into multiple suborders, 
This increases the possibility to find a match in terms of the amount and the price for the pair requested. Multiple atomic swaps introduce appear to be a communication system that allows swaps between parties that are unknown entities to each other with no prior contact. The orders broadcasted are stored by the nodes in a decentralized manner using a distributed hash table. As these distributed hash tables can become quite large and might overload small devices, observer and book aggregator enabled swaps introduce some degree of centralization for the benefit of higher efficiency. Last but not least, there is the MLT token. The MLT token serves as utility token on Mintlayer. 600 million MLT tokens will be created and token holders who stake more than 0.01% of the total token supply can participate in the DSA consensus and create new mint layer blocks. The MLT token also allows holders to express their views on the mint layer roadmap and to suggest new blockchain features. For Q1 2023, the launch of the Mint Layer mainnet with DSA consensus is planned. The MLT token launch event will take place on March 21st, 2023. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in one of the next videos.